you had a good time? Yeah, that was great. Right? Yeah. I wasn't looking for it. By putting this hoop on and driving it down and making it tighter, so it's got nowhere to go as it bounces except up. So it should bounce back up into its groove, into its crows. Oh, use the animals? Up, but we have got a website. Wow. Um, if you ring us up, you can pay by credit card over the phone and we can post it down. How do you end it with a tackle? Generally, yeah. But don't put the tack don't put the tack right there. Bring it back here somewhere. And actually fold that so that it goes the, the loose end goes underneath the, the, the binding. And, um, and then when you get to the other end, when you get to the other end, you just do a half inch and basically slip it back under the previous one. Pull it tight, put the other tack in, cut the excess. It's pretty simple. No, this is um, this is cordial iron. So like the yucca. And I'll this is for when you do the heels and toes. Do you know what it's it's for it. It's it's is that this is about making a freestyle form of weaving. It's about playing with colour and texture. Yeah. It's not about doing a pattern that someone else has constructed that could then be replaced again and again and again. I've done it again. About 100 years old. Feels a bit wonky, but works perfectly fine. It's prehistoric times. Sometimes I Sometimes it's better to um, like my bar. Counter sink on the and outside. And make sure they're not getting wet and leave them as they are because as soon as you start to see Pretty much on the eve of leaving we come to here on Thursday night we've also got the Canadian Festival at Silver Hill and we've got the horse team taking out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah.